this is the part four of making a hyper casual dunk it like game inside of unity and in this one we are going to add another basket and work on the game manager so without any further ado let's get started all right so this is where we left off in the previous video we added this one basket and now we are going to add another one for the right side and we are going to do that by duplicating this basket let's first rename this to left basket all right let's duplicate this and we are going to call this one the right basket let's also reposition it remove the minus and also let's flip it by, by changing the x scale to minus one all right so the boss scale looks perfect but in order to play the game we also need some kind of game manager to manage both the baskets deactivate one and activate the other so let's create an empty game object we are going to call this the game manager and let's reset the position let's create a new script for our game manager all right let's hit create an add let's find our script inside of the ss folder here it is let's also drag it inside of the scripts folder and let's open this up all right so the first thing we are going to do is obviously remove the both using tags we are not going to need them and the game manager will handle all these scores so let's go to the ball script and let's remove the score integer from here let's also remove this add bottom boolean we are not going to need this instead let's replace this with inside all right it will do the trick let's also remove the scores stuff from here all right so now let's head back inside of the game manager and the first thing we are going to need is a reference to our ball and we are going to need two more references for the left and the right basket all right and and of course a public integer for a score let's default this to zero and we also need another integer that would keep track of the basket direction so which basket is active right now let's default this to minus one so we will start with the left basket let's comment it out left is minus one and right would be one all right and the first thing we are going to do is of course set the left basket to active and also disable the right basket all right the next thing we need to do is create a, pub a public player score method so that we actually know that player has a score and inside of this we are going to do a bunch of things firstly let's increase the score by plus one and also change the direction we are going to create this method in a minute let's copy this create a void chain direction method and inside of this we are going to change the direction of the baskets so let's comment this out and the way we are going to do this is by changing the direction by multiplying it with minus one so the oppo opposite of whatever it is right now all right and we will check if the basket if the hoop direction is one so if it is right and if it is then we are going to set the right basket to true and the left basket to false and we are going to do the same thing for for when the direction is minus one so let's set it to false and this to true all right so that's pretty much all we need to do i think let's save this and let's also go back to the ball script and all we need to do here is simply call in the player score method from the game manager for that we also need a reference so let's create one let's call the player score method from the game manager and just like we did with the baskets we also need to change the direction of our ball so for that we are going to get the movement script from our ball and multiply the direction with minus one all right let's save this and head back inside of unity 
let's set all the references so drag and drop the balls and both the baskets left hook right hook and one more thing let's just disable both the left and right baskets and hit play let's try it out of course we have an error let's see what it says and yes i forgot to reference the game manager for our balls so let's do that real quick all right let's try again there it is and yes we can actually play the game let's see here it goes let's try a few more times to see if everything is to see if everything's working fine all right so so yeah i think everything is working just fine but we can't actually see the score right now so let's go ahead and add some ui create a canvas and also create a text let's scale it up to cover the whole screen let's type in something for now to see how it looks let's change the alignment and set the color to to pure white and also enable the best fit and bump up the max size all the way up it looks pretty good but it is covering our wall so let's go and bring the text back and in order to do that we need to go to the canvas and change the render mode to a screen space camera let's drag and drop our camera in here all right so the text is now in the background let's also change the opacity on our text and yeah it looks good i think this will do for now let's call it a score text and we also need the game manager to update our text so let's go back to the game manager and the first thing that we need to do is of course use unity ui so unity engine.ui let's include it and let's create a public text we call it score text and at the start method we will set the score text to zero so whatever the current score is and we also need to update the score text when the player scores so let's go down so here when the player scores so let's just copy and paste this from the start method All right, so that's all we need to do. Let's save this and head back inside of Unity. Of course, we need to set the reference and let's hit play. Let's see if it updates. So one, two, so yeah, it is updating. Let's, let's try it a few more times. All right, everything looks good. So the game is pretty playable at this moment, but, but we also need to make the baskets move up and down. Otherwise it won't be as challenging as we want it to be. But we will do that in the next video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.